tell me that's my hay getting delivered. Oh my God, it is, it is, it is my hay. I needed it today. Oh, I love it. I was gonna try and rush and have to go pick up hay in the back of my SUV. Believe me, I've done it before. Okay, let's start this thing over. All right, what up you guys? Another week, another badass makeover. All right, I, I did, I said that about myself. I tooted my own horn, so to speak. Pat myself on the back. A lot of you guys love the shed video. I love it, I still love it. I use it all the time. I love doing laundry now. I love being in my little outdoor space, which I'm here, having the light on out there and looking at it. It's just so wonderful. So this week I did my kitchen, also in partnership with Sherwin-Williams, and we are debuting their color of the year, navel. Not like the orange or your belly button, like the navy, like blue of the navy. Y'all know I love a good blue, a blue and white moment. It's elegant, it's rich, it's beautiful, it's sophisticated, it's timeless, it's elegant. Did I say elegant? If I said elegant twice, it's because it's that elegant. It's elegant squared. has always been just not that fabulous. The oven just kind of ends, just kind of ends, and then there's an air conditioning wall unit, which also I wanted to take out, but I can't, and it goes to the outside, and it's like very secure. Plus, it is kind of nice to be able to turn on the air conditioning, but I knew I wanted access to it, but I wanted it to be camouflage and then there's like a nook of the wall that's carved in there so it felt like something belonged to be like stuck in there I also wanted something to draw your eye away from that weird microwave moment with the plug also the cabinets below weren't in great condition there was some glue on them had mismatched knobs they don't all work very well but since it was painted and did have those things I knew that if I took a beautiful color like a navel a dark rich color it would camouflage some of those imperfections and essentially just sort of recede those cabinets from the eye so I don't want to put it down because I adore it I appreciate that the wood carries right onto that kitchen I appreciate that there are newer appliances and they're stainless steel. I appreciate that countertop that's white and nice and light and bright. And I appreciate that deep sink and little things that aren't decor related at all. The hot water works really well. That said, aesthetically, it could use a few changes. Surprise, surprise, I told you guys my new go-to is alabaster. I put that on the wall in there and the ceiling and it is beautiful. I used a satin finish in interior latex paint in the emerald line from Sherwin-Williams, which is their premium top of the line paint. Again, I love a premium top of the line paint because you don't have to do as much. It just looks nicer, easier. You tend to not have to use as much paint. I also just kind of painted everything. The trim, everything. The weird side about this too is everything's uneven. So the, the window's not straight. Why do I want to highlight that with white along? To say like, oh look, see that negative space? It's different on this side to that side. So. I think when you have funky space, paint can be your best friend. Use it to just kind of camouflage, and that's exactly what I did here. Camouflaged and highlight, and it worked really well. I did the alabaster, and immediately, it might seem subtle, and I hope it comes across on camera, it felt so much more elegant, so much more expensive, so much better and just richer and just more fabulous. And it might look like a subtle change from the cream color that was there before, but the cream color was yellow and yellow almost to the extent that it tinged on green in certain lights. I think paint is something that you want to sample and look at in all different types of lighting because sometimes at night you're like, ooh, looks okay when it's blown out by the light of day. I used emerald urethane trim enamel on the cabinets in navel and it just kind of makes the cabinets recede. So your eye naturally kind of 
opens up to all this light and bright white space, whether it's the alabaster walls and then even the white cabinets that I didn't end up painting but I thought I might. Just the same kind of color. It didn't need to. The alabaster made it look so nice immediately. So the kitchen, rather than looking like a like a long, narrow tunnel, it kind of feels like, oh, there's some stuff and then it's open. Like the feeling is sort of like open and vast and beautiful. I mean, the window helps a lot too, obviously, and those beautiful white countertops, but I feel like those countertops get a chance to pop and be this kind of subtle, beautiful atmosphere because of the navy cabinets. I then needed the perfect knobs, and I wanted to do a few different things. So I ended up finding antique silver, which was really nice, and I actually got a pack of 25 and put them on, and I was going to not even put them on the white cabinets, but then they looked so nice on there, and I love that they sort of blend in with the navy, they look nice with the white, um, but then they have, because of the antiquing, just a little bit of luster and a little bit of shimmer, that kind of draws your eyes and adds almost like a subtle layer of jewelry. So I had a table for a while and it was too long to fit in that awkward nook area. So I wound up having that cut down and I felt guilty because it's vintage, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta make it work and it was a game changer for me. It designated those areas, so that's where the kitchen ends, and it's kind of like a transitional. So it's where the kitchen ends, but it also kind of isn't too kitcheny, cause so it can kind of fall into that being the sofa next to it, and kind of into the living room, and sort of spill out that way. Opposite that, I had a little desk that I really didn't know what to do with, and I had exactly that much space, and I kid you not, I didn't even move the fridge to put it there. I really didn't. I just was like, maybe this will fit there. Let's see what it looks like. And put it there and was like, this is great. Can have a little lamp here. I can make this like a little moment, hang a picture. I put magnets on the back, that's my grandma and my uncle, on the back of the picture that's on the fridge and just kind of treated it like a wall so that that little space, again, it kind of softens the kitchen out into the living room. I also added that big mirror over that countertop kind of farmhouse table. Oh, and I almost forgot my little rolling island butcher block countertop, which is so awesome. I picked that up from the thrift store. It was $19.99 with 20% off, no joke, got it home, taped it off, left that countertop, which I love that it opens up so it's pretty small, has like a small little footprint, rolls around so it's easy to kind of maneuver, painted the bottom navel, and boom, whole new world. It gives me kind of like an extra sort of cabinet area, an extra little prep space. There's nice little plugs nearby, which is great. So that worked really, really well for me and super on a budget. Oh, how could I forget? I actually think the piece de resistance, piece de resistance, I feel so uh, Leanne Ford <laughs> when I say that. Anyway, I think it is probably that lantern light. It's a game changer. It adds like a really nice, I, A, I love that it comes down a little bit. I think that is really nice. I mean, a tall person might not love it, but for me, it is just fine. And it adds like a sculptural quality, as something nice, takes up some space, but because it's just see-through and clear, it doesn't take up visual space. So it has a feeling of expansiveness and a little bit of drama to the space and some nice geometric lines and a sculptural element, yet you can see right through. It doesn't block anything, it doesn't hinder anything. Right behind that I have the bamboo shade. And then I just grabbed a few things I had and kind of put them around. Obviously I have my lemons, which I drink lemon water almost every day. I have, I'm um, trying to think what else is there, the little olive tree. You guys know all about my favorite little olive tree. It's just cozy. I think it's cozy. I love the idea of like the different shapes, the different textures, kind of having stuff around, but also a feeling of like cleanliness and openness. So there's a few strategic things that are out, but for the most part, everything's put away. I think it goes to show you that with a few simple changes, you can dramatically, dramatically change a space. The energy in there is completely different. It feels really open and expansive, and because of those two areas that I've really utilized that sort of feed into the living room and the rest of the house that kind of soften the kitchen vibe and kind of go from kitchen to like living space, along with the paint being so strategic with the navy coming in, just beautiful, elegant, recessing that, keeping it timeless, keeping it classic, going with the farmhouse vibe. 
the nice alabaster and that warm hue that ties in those white cabinets and even makes the cabinets look better. I am not kidding you. And it just kind of opens your eye up to it. I feel like it ends up being this really open, beautiful space that I love spending time in. And I love it because my air conditioning unit is very much hidden. Like, you can see it but it's not where your eye goes, yet it's completely functional. So, that's awesome. <laughs> Shout out Sherwin-Williams, thank you for partnering with me. I always have a blast on these videos. I love Sherwin-Williams paint to death, and I'm just so thrilled with these videos. I wanna do more. I love doing makeovers in my own space because I can do whatever I want, and I end up thinking it looks the best if you really want to know the dang truth. And I hope you don't think I'm too conceited. I'm just excited because it's my new place and my new kitchen and it feels good and it feels new and it feels like a really dramatic difference. So I hope it shows up as that on this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Navel is all about stargazing and beauty and astrology and the sea and I love it all. I'm feeling it in my kitchen space. So thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.